Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and this is a new episode of Come to Work With Me, a series on my channel where we go through the vintage inventory that we have at the jewelry store where I work. And it helps me to prioritize and organize. And in the meantime, we get to look at the goodies. If you haven't already, click subscribe. I'm uploading a new video every Sunday, and I'd love to see you there again. Down in the description box below, there are eBay links and emails. If there's anything you're interested in, or if you would just like to say hi, I'd love to hear from you. Send me a message. Anyway, let's get digging. Okay, here we go. Here's our box to start today. That's really pretty, actually. I like that. It's got like a weathered kind of brown leather look with this little push button here. Not bad shape. Oh, what does that say? Luro, L-U-R-O. Those are really kind of cool looking. Let me get them out. Okay, screw back. And look at those. Oh, are they ever cool? Art Deco or what? Hey, they've got carnelian. Look at that. And marcasite. Ooh, nothing missing. Those are neat. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I like them very much. On the back side, I don't see a mark. I don't see a mark there. Oh, but they're probably silver. Oh, here we go. Yep. Oh, is that what that says? 925? Let's take a closer look. I don't want to just assume this time, usually. 935. Ha! It's even more silver than I thought in its cute little old box. I wonder if those are original to the box. I wonder this. I do. Okay. I got a bunch of pendants coming up here. I'm going to dump this little bag beside me. Sorry, that was probably noisy. Oh, look! A ring to match them. In carnelian as well, and marcasite. Uh, we're missing one right there. And on that side, dang, that's too bad because that's a really cool addition. I think I would still probably list them together. Let's see what that says. Hmm. What's that? G E M J M P? Sterling. Huh. Interesting. Those are awesome. I love them. All right. I'm going to put out a couple of extra things to lean pendants against here, I think. Let's do this for now. Hey, <laughs> I don't know. That could work. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So the first one I have to pull out here is a piece of Labradorite. Not much of a flash. You can kind of catch it there in this light and angle anyway. It's difficult. And it looks like a chunk of blue topaz at the bottom. And that's marked 925. Hmm. Oh, look at I can see the blue flash better now that it's laying down. Here's another. Labradorite pendant. That one's got a good blue to it there. Interesting on the setting too. I like that. I like that. Looks like it was stamped 925 as well. You can stand there. How about that? Ooh, here's one that's gold pyrite. I think that's a fun look. Solid. It's quite heavy. Gold pyrite. All right, next is some tiger's eye. This one's got mostly just the lighter colors. I don't see any black banding. Just a really light, it almost looks like wood grain, doesn't it? Tiger's eye is awesome. I really love it. Sometimes you find it with lines of hematite through it. And here's some more labradorite with a piece of. Uh, citrine. Now this Labradorite is, I don't know, the light really plays around in there, but it's 
just like a yellowness. I'm not catching any brilliant blues or anything. 925. Here's another one. Ooh, flower agate and amethyst. You can see those sort of flowery shapes in there. And uh, it's glassy, so I know it's agate as opposed to um, like a ocean jasper, say. Here's another pendant. I'm not going to stop saying another pendant because I think we're just going to do probably 10 or 15 in a row here right now. But this has a nice piece of agate in it like brown and black I kind of like the flat side better you can see the the detail of the banding better on the back but it's beautiful nonetheless here is aha uh -huh, a purple star sapphire I'll pause the video and turn on the flash so that we can see the star all right here we go and there's the star nice natural purple star sapphire this is the third one i think i found like this pretty it looks like not much until that light hits it and then it just sings doesn't it this looks like hawk's eye tiger's eye um, but younger Young Tiger's Eye is called Hawk's Eye, and it's got a bluish color to it. And that's what I'm kind of picking up there with that one. Um, hmm, this looks like dyed howlite. And it is marked WK925 China. And it uh, it's an enhancer, so you could put it easily onto a bead necklace. But that piece there doesn't want to stay shut so I would not trust it no 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 here's another one sodalite or is it lapis it might be lapis actually it doesn't have any gold pyrite but it does have the calcite the blue is closer to what I would expect in lapis versus sodalite so it could just be a piece of lapis where there was just no pyrite in that piece but what's really awesome is the setting really cool and the bale I think that makes it so pretty. Really nice. Let that veil hang down. There. This is a piece of moonstone. And looks like clear quartz and some pearl. I'm trying to get that blue flash in the moonstone. Maybe if I lay it down here. Oh yeah, did you see that? Up here? No. Here? A little bit. Hmm. I don't know. I'm I'm seeing it quite well where I'm sitting, but I don't think it's translating into the video very well. All right. Another piece of moonstone. Let's see how this one performs. That one's getting more of a flash for you. You can really see like where it's very clear through. Looks like there's some inclusion there too. Just a simple oval nice here's another two piece with labradorite and a citrine there's some nice color play there labradorescence if you will and a big piece of smoky quartz cut in uh, into a heart a faceted heart and it's got an enhancer as well it's marked Canada and that's the only mark I see looking closer at the stone I think I see bubbles in there so I guess I'd venture to say it's glass instead of actual quartz but I'd have to take a closer look for a longer period of time to be sure all right here's one that's a little different We've got CZs and uh, silver tone. It says 925CZ on the back. It's on a chain that has these little aspirin settings. And then a rectangular one as well. I think that's really cool and pretty. 
and there's no clasp at the back. Oh, I think this is a magnetic one, isn't it? Yep. So it comes apart on either side so you can switch out the the centerpiece, the, the pendant. Cool. All right. Who's next here? Oh, you? Okay. This is a piece of rutilated quartz. You can see the rutile inside there and a little drop-shaped peridot. That's a fun one. Looks like straw or hay inside. Oh, goodness. I don't know what this one is. It's some sort of an agate and smoky quartz. Huh. I'm not sure what type of agate that would be, but... Now, regardless, here's another one. <laughs> Maybe we find something out about that. That would be ideal. And here's another pendant. Keep saying it. Ugh. I guess that's going to be some amethyst there. And that's a pretty cute little setting as well. Oops. Tuck you in there. Um, here's another pendant. It looks like it might have gone with the magnetic one here, but it's not, it's not set up that way. Lots of little stones though, nice and sparkly. It's very pretty. And it is marked 925 CZ as well. Pretty. Here's another stone that looks like a piece of jasper, I suppose. And smoky quartz. Oh, here's a little guy. Look at that. Garnet. Ooh, la lu. That's very nice and simple. I love it when a pendant is on a hinge like this, too. I think it makes it hang really nicely. And I'm looking for a mark oh, on the top of the bale there. 925. That's a winner. Here's a cross style one with, again, well, garnet, or is that going to be some? No, it's very red. I'd say garnet then. Cabochon cross. I don't see a mark, but it's probably silver. Ooh, here's a big one. Big piece of Labradorite. Good amount of flash in there and a piece of blue topaz again. And this looks like, oh, I'm not really sure actually. It's got a glassiness like an agate, but it looks more like a jasper. Thailand. Looking at the back side of it, I think, I think we could say it's jasper. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty setting anyway. All right. Now I've got, oh, wait, one more really rough looking, organic looking circular bezel set piece of amethyst. And now I'll grab all of these at once because there are several of them and they mostly all have a tag from Whenever they may have been listed for sale somewhere, we've bought somebody's collection, but we've got these donut, the offset donut shapes. They're tagged at $25. This one is a clear quartz. I don't even know if that's silver. It's not magnetic, so it could very well be. Let's line up these dudes over here. We've got a tiger's eye one as well. Here's a jadeite. This is sodalite. So you can kind of see if I pull this one back over, the difference in the blues. Sodalite is a lot more sort of denim blue, where lapis used to be used to create uh, ultramarine paint, which is like, you know, an intense blue paint. It used to be ground down and mixed with oil in the renaissance period so it makes sense to me but 
there's one that's amethyst it's almost ametrine it's got like a brown wants to be yellow kind of variation there another tiger's eye piece this is carnelian this is goldstone which is not a real stone it is a glass technique invented in venice italy and the last one is dyed halite made to look like turquoise but not actually there they are little group there for us hey all right i think i'm out of pendants now <laughs> just a couple of them in there for us let's see what else we can add to the pile dump out another bag beside me here okay first of all these jumped out at me these deadly awesome earrings look at those those are cool they're hollow and I mean they're a hoop let's see if we can find any mark I'm, I'm sure they're silver I'm, I don't doubt they are but I don't see any marks oh I would be scared that that wouldn't stay in it looks like you could easily lose one but they're awesome I really like those Ooh, since we're on the stone kick here is a Jasper uh, bracelet sort of a freeform bezel naturally shaped I guess they've put these two teardrop pieces at the end near the clasp which is like a, a hook and it is marked 925 inside that's quite nice that's something that could go in the store we have a lot like that and browns is actually something I don't have a lot of right now so I could certainly find a home for you in the store okay next up is a chunky chunky chain necklace braided gold chain necklace it's quite big there's a lot going on does this thing say anything it says Korea spring ring nice chunk of gold color there in the center for us here's another bracelet this looks like it's made with that gold stone but it's a plastic resin and it actually is giving me coral vibes did you get coral vibes from this bracelet let's look along, look along the back for a signature come on coral her no signature but that's okay that's what it looks like to me it uh it obviously isn't because I would assume it would be marked all right here's another pair of silver earrings once I get it get them unhooked got it I got it these are on shepherd hooks and it's this textured kind of puffy looking moon crescent moon shape kind of 925 on both of those excellent uh, here's a little herringbone chain bracelet just for fun just for fun oh this is heavy check this out big old gold gold <laughs> big old gold tone and what do you call this link oh that's a wheat link I'm used I'm used to seeing it smaller so when I see a big huge one like this um, I've learned that this is one of the strongest links you can have this thing weighs a lot and it's quite long as well I'd say that's gonna be like maybe a 28 or 30 inch necklace here's the clasp nothing to see there but that is substantial 
Ooh, where are we going to put you? You don't take over the whole scene. Just pile it up over there, I guess. <laughs> All right. Here's another little gold tone bracelet. That's pretty. That's an interesting link again. It's got a little ball in the center in between, just like a regular kind of curb, curb link. But that's quite pretty and it's in really nice shape. I don't see any marks on it. Not magnetic. All right. Who's next here? Oh, these little studs. There's a stone on them. They are little nephrite jade studs in that sort of really vintage setting I see often in rings more often. Nice. No mark for silver on them, but you never know. Here's a bracelet with uh, kiwi birds and abalone. Two solid pieces that bring it around. Obviously something from like a, a gift shop once when somebody went to Australia, no doubt. Here's another one of these bracelets. This one's got a mark though. What's it say? Korea. Two of those. Oh, never mind. Three of those. <laughs> All right. Maybe that's a, a sign. And this is a gold tone snake chain. It's in lovely condition. Is it snake even? No, it's like a square herringbone like and it's got FAC Fifth Avenue collection a Canadian brand um out of Moose Jaw Saskatchewan I think originally okay here is a necklace a faux pearl and AB coated bead, tiny little ones here with the little full pearl, uh, little seed pearls. Here's the clasp. It's a double strand with a graduation in length and it is marked Japan. That's in nice condition though. I've had quite a few that uh, I cannot say the same for, but I think that one looks good. Here's a cute little pair of Art Deco earrings, much like that first Carnelian pair down here, but this time we've got a blue stone. And uh, I mean, the shape is different, of course, and these are posts and those are screw back, but look at those. Those are great. Little piece of turquoise, perhaps. Here's the back side, 925. Very nice. Okay. Who's next? Who wants to go next here? Okay, you do. We got some fish jumping at the chance to go next. These little dangly silver fish. They're hollow and three-dimensional. Hanging from your ears. And they're marked 95 on that shepherd's hook. Nice, those are great. Love the fishes. Here's another animal. It is a bird, a pair of earrings with a bird on it. So shall we do an intuition test? What type of bird is dangling on these earrings? Oh, <laughs> if you guessed parrots, well done. It's got the little turquoise chippies in there. It's got carving and it's got a lot of marks on it. Sterling 925. Hmm. I don't know. That's a lot. That is a lot of information on the back of those earrings. Here's a pair with a snowflake obsidian like this. They're very lightweight. I would have expected them to be heavier. Mind you, they are pretty thin. 
overall. But that's a cool stone, isn't it? Snowflake obsidian. Okay, next I have a necklace that is tangled. But first, there's a pair of jade earrings. <laughs> Those are kind of cute. Little tiny pieces of nephrite and gold tone. Yeah. Cute. All right, necklace. Oh, I see. It's one of these... One of these that, if you ever get it straight, you better just never touch it again. Swaggy, kind of. Ugh, I'm not going to try and sort that out, but it's, you know, a multi-chain swag situation. And it is marked 925. So that's cool. Is there anything on the chain? Interesting chain. Yeah. Nothing, there's nowhere to put another mark on there, really. But that's kind of a fun find. I like that. It, uh, <laughs> once you get it sorted out, you just don't ever move it again. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Look at all of that. Another successful haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, click subscribe. That way we can hang out again. I upload a new video every Sunday. And if you need a little more jewelry in between, click on the Robots in Love. That's going to take you right to my channel. I've got lots of videos for uh, in between now and next Sunday for you to watch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.